Hello everyone, welcome to MES e-learning channel. In this video, we will solve another type of problem on parallel force system. So, in this, the given condition is you have to reduce the system to a force and a couple at point P. So, again, so we have to find a force and we have to find a couple at point P. So, to start with the solution. So, to find out the resultant of this uh, entire force system, so we know the R equal to summation of all the forces. This will be equal to all summation of all the forces. So, 12 kilo Newton which is acting upward, so we will take it as a positive. So, 12 and minus sorry 15 kilo Newton is acting downward, so it is negative, negative of 15, 24 is acting upward, so positive 24, 30 kilo Newton is acting upward, again it is a positive 30. 20 is acting downwards, so it is negative 20. So, if you put it in the calculator, we will get R is equal to 31 kilo Newton. So, which is a positive sign, so it will act upward. So, we found out one, one sub question. Second thing is, we have to find out the movement, that is a couple. So, to find out couple, so we have to take summation of movement about point P because we have to find out the force and couple at point P. So, we are concerned about point P. Now, again movement is nothing but force into the perpendicular distance. So, we have this 12 kilo Newton and if you take the movement of 12 kilo Newton about point P, it will be a clockwise direction. It will be a clockwise direction and the distance is 3 plus 1.5 distance. So, it is a clockwise direction. So, negative of 12 negative 12 into the distance is 4.5 meter. Second, for the second force 15 kilo newtons it is acting anti-clockwise direction and the distance is only 1.5, distance is 1.5. So, positive 15 into 1.5 and this third force it is a 24 kilo newton is acting anti-clockwise direction, the distance is 1.5 meter. So, positive 24 into 1.5 meter and the fourth force which is a 30 this is also making an anti clockwise direction about point o the distance is 1.5 plus 3 which will be 4.5 so plus 30 into 4.5 the last force which is a 20 kilo is acting downward so it will be make a clockwise direction about point p and the distance is 3, 3 plus 3 plus 1.5, total 7.5. So, we can take it is a negative, negative of 20 into 7.5. So, if you put this into a calculator, you will get the value as moment about point P is equal to minus of 10.5 kilo Newton meter. So, since it is a minus, so we can convert into the sign that is 10.5 kilo Newton meter and it is a clockwise direction. So, now we have to represent that entire system into a single force system. So, we can draw the diagram again by representing the resultant force R equal to resultant force is uh, 31 kilo Newton a single force at point P and the movement which is a couple it is a clockwise direction. So, like this. So, C equal to 10.5 kilo Newton meter or else we can call it as MP as well MP movement about point P. I hope you understood this uh, problem on parallel force system. We will see next problem on the next video.